Aloha my kako friends and welcome back to Hawaiian story time with Auntie Kalia. We are here right now in a cave with some massive honu. And so today we are going to be reading Moana the Honu gets help from friends. And it's an awesome story about why we should not throw our opala and our rubbish all over the aina, all over the ground because it can harm and endanger our island honu. Hello, hello, Moana the Honu Gets Help from Friends Written by Gail Omoro, Jan and Judy Dill And illustrated by Garrett Omoro And the Hawaiian value for this book is Alulike Working together in unity Doing one's part in sync with others Each and every day at a quarter to nine, whatever the weather, rain or shine, Moana the Honu would leave her home to meet her friends and off they'd roam. In and around the Pacific Sea, splashing, darting and spinning with glee. They all were good friends, there was no doubt. Best friends forever, they'd often shout. But one day her friends were filled with dismay, when Moana did not come out to play. They searched high and low and called her name. They shouted out loud, but she never came. What could have happened? Where can she be? They were all very worried, so they sent out a plea. We need to find our friend. Can someone please help? She's not where she usually is, at home in the kelp. Many friends heard and came to their aid, starting to search high and low. Then suddenly, Kai remembered something, and his fear began to grow. They had just seen a floating pile of debris just the other day. Moana had said, let's go near, but Kai told her, no, stay away. And now Kai wondered, is Moana over there? Could she be in danger? Oh no, what a scare! To the surface, Kai cried. We must find the rubble. If that's where Moana is, she may be in... Pili flew above the ocean and soon let out a shout. I see her, she's stuck. Moana needs our help to get out. Nearby, Tutu overheard and urged, Hurry, there's no time to spare. If she's trapped under water, she'll struggle to breathe. Sea turtles need the air. Tutu saw their fear and continued, for there was something else that she knew. If you all work together with the strengths that you have, you'll be surprised at what you can do. With newfound courage, the friends banded together. We can do it, they all agreed. Let's go to her now. Pili, show us the way. We won't stop till Moana is freed. When they got to that place, they all jumped in. But what a chaotic mess. No matter how hard they pulled and they tugged, their friend was still in distress. Wait a minute, cried Kai. This won't work. What did Tutu say? To each do what we can do best. It's really the only way. Let's try again, said Kai excitedly. Let there be no more delay. First, Mele, you snip. Next, Holu, you grab. Then Noah, you pull the net far away. So that's what they did. They worked as a team. First a snip, then a grab, then a tug. Soon Moana was freed. Thank you, she beamed and gave each of them a hug. The animals learned a good lesson that day that each could help. It's true. And when they worked together and did their best, there was no limit to what they could do. With each adventure, the six friends learned that Tutu was wise indeed. And when they heeded the advice Tutu gave, they knew they would succeed. The end. 
And at the end of the book, the authors have shared a verse from the Bible. God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. 1 Peter 4.10 Mahalo nui loa. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for joining us here at Hawaiian Storytime with Auntie Kalia. Hopefully it can be a good reminder to us and show us why we need to take care of our aina, why we need to take care of our holoholona, our native animals, to not throw our opala on the ground or in the ocean. And it's also a really good reminder to show us how we can do our part when we work together. Anything can be done. Ahuyah!